Felicity from Get Your Rucker, and I'm here chatting to Barney from Napalm Death. How are you today? All right, yeah, I'm all right now. I'm yeah, I'm composed now at this point. <laughs> nice, nice. Takes a while, I'm guessing. Actually, you know, it's not so bad. I mean, I jumped in and uh, got a bit of um, got a bit of soap and water on me, and uh, then I was all right after that. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. I envy you that. I really do. I've not quite quite done that Ooh. since I know. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm, I'm quite a fan of, like, cleanliness. A bad, bodily cleanliness, should I say. So, you know. Oh, you'd be surprised how many people aren't, you know. It would not surprise me. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. tour for a living. Yeah. I totally, yeah. totally, sadly, understand yeah. far too much. Yeah. It's horrible, isn't it? But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, body cleanliness is good, and I'm definitely going to attempt to find a shower later. Yeah. That's basically my mission for the day. Yeah, yeah, there is some around there, definitely. Yeah. Need to, need to kind of wangle my way into yeah, one at yeah, some yeah. point. <laughs> so yeah, and we are, of course, here at Bloodstock, and I mean, the set sounded fantastic. Oh. So uh, did you enjoy yourself? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I think people could tell that we were... In, I mean, we always enjoy it. You know what? You d of course you have some gigs that, you know, don't quite click in the way they usually do. But in the main, if you're not enjoying yourself playing gigs, although the band has a very serious side to it, you know what? Stay at home, man. Do something else. You know, don't, don't kind of put yourself on the kids who pay money that they don't have to, money, to yeah. pay to come into yeah. things. You no, know, there are, it's true, there are so many bands that are just doing it for purely for financial reasons, you know. There, there was a band touring recently and I will mention no names whatsoever, because, no, uh, yes, absolutely, but you know, it was a case of a gig finished, everybody in separate taxis, separate hotels, job done, oh, yeah. just going through the motions on stage and you just think, what yeah. is the point? No, yeah, I'm not, down, I'm not into that, I'd, I'd rather not, I'd rather for myself, I'd rather do something else. Yeah. yeah, and I think that, I think, you know, you you guys, from what the impression I get of you as a band and of how you work, you wouldn't be doing this if you didn't like it. You wouldn't want that oh, kind of level no, of fakery well, involved. No way. Well, I, 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 that's my general approach to life. You know, I, I want to like what I do, you know, in my personal life or in other ways. And I, you know, I don't want to, um, I don't want to, kind of wake up in the morning going, you know, this, today's going to be shit, really shit, you know. Yeah. You can tell, like, you surround yourself with great people. I mean, I know you do a lot of work with Russ Russell, who is one of the genuinely nicest men around, yeah. you know. You, your, your crew are lovely by all accounts, like everybody that's involved with you. You're yeah. just nice people and it makes so much of a difference working with bands I, like that. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I can only speak for myself. I'm a, I'm a people person. I actually like people. You know, there's a lot of people out there that say oh, I hate most of the human race. I, I don't. I actually like people. It's quite nice to meet people and share share like nice moments with them. You know, there's a lot to be said for it. You know, it is, and like it's you know the, the strangest moments can turn into some of the most beautiful times yeah. that you've had. Like they're just chance encounters yeah, with yeah, like yeah. the weirdest of people that you'd never expect can actually turn into amazing, amazing conversations yeah, and stuff. Yeah. And people miss out on that yeah. so much. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know I, I'm not on social media. Me personally, the band is I'm not personally. Part of the reason why I do that is that. I think the art of face-to-face -face conversation, like that guy over there, that's missing, you know, yeah. you know. No, it's true, it's true. Staring at a phone while... No matter, yeah, sure, yeah. I mean, but, but no matter whether the, whether the subject matter is, is, is a little bit grim or it's completely head over heels happiness, you know, yeah. I mean, that, that dialogue is, 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 yeah. is vital. We've, we've lost it, you know, and like kids that are growing up nowadays, like teenagers now, I don't know whether they even know how to have a proper conversation that doesn't involve like six types of social media at the same time, and it's really sad. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I'm not like a, I'm not like a bloody throwback or nothing like that, but, but I do think certain, certain basic humanities as conversation, you know, are uh, vital, you know. No, I would wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly agree. Yeah. So, yeah. 
And yeah, I've been getting back to a slightly more musical theme before we go off on a tangent and fix the world and the universe in 10 minutes. Um, yeah, I mean, your 16th studio album, it's unbelievable, it really is. It's such a yeah. brilliant career to look at. Well, I mean, actually part of the reason why it is as it is is because we don't look at it as a career. <laughs> we never did. You know, well, I think when, when bands openly talk about what they've done as a career, you kind of think to yourself, hmm, you know, well, was it, was it really like something that you just wanted to live off the back of? Or did it have a, did it have a more of an essence than that? I, I want my band to have a, a more of an essence than that. So what do you think of it as? I think of it as a life experience, like we were, much what we were talking about. I don't consider. I would never put it like this. I would never use the terminology like oh, I've had a 15-year career. I it, it, it actually makes it sounds really horrible to to, to even even say you know. I just don't. I just don't laugh. Just don't like it. You know. It sounds like because you sound like the bloke, the middle manager going into the bank every day. You know. It does have that kind of edge to it. It does. I've never actually thought of it that way. But you're right. It completely and utterly does. And so, how do you kind of reconcile that with the fact that? I mean, do you see yourself when you're looking at things from the band point of view? Do you see it carrying on for the foreseeable future, or do you see it as a chapter of your life? Well, I mean, put it like this: if if you'd have told me in in 1989 that I was going to be still sitting wherever I was sitting in 1991, I'd have said hmm, maybe. Now, if you'd told me in 2015 that I that I would still be sitting here or wherever it was in 2015 I'd have fucking laughed you out of the room you know understandably so I think but but I'm here so so when you bear in mind how the band is there's nothing to there's nothing to say that this band won't be around for maybe another 10 plus years you know but you don't have like a business plan of things you're achieving by this time no because those are organic things, you know, they're natural things. I, I don't think you can be as rigid as that with your band. Uh, yeah. For me personally. No, I, I really like your way of looking at it, and it's it's refreshing to speak to somebody of a band of your level that actually looks at it that way. It, it's it's quite a rarity. Yeah, I'm just, I, I'm honestly really, it can't, de it would depress me to think of the fact that we have like financial goals or whatever. Brilliant. And I mean, the, the touring this year seems to have gone fantastically so far and there's still quite a lot, I think, still to play for the rest of this year, which is which is great. And do you still enjoy being on the road, like the actual touring side, not the playing Don't side? Don't get me wrong, some days it can be tough for, 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 a, for a myriad of reasons, you know, but, but for the most part, it's good. Travelling on... You, you, you're seeing places that you never would have seen had you not. You would never have seen had you not been in a band. I mean, to me, if you can't appreciate that, then again, you should really consider. You know, what Fantastic. And I think. I mean, do you have? Like from, I know it's a huge. <laughs> not you. I'm just a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of not surprised. Not surprised. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, do you have any kind of particular place that stands out as the most surprisingly magical place that you've ended up through touring? Uh, Are there far too many to name. Yeah, I mean, there's far too many to name. I mean, the thing I, well, you know, one of the big um, things for me was when when we first started going into Eastern Europe. We were one of the first bands after the war came down, and I was one of my kind of hobbies, I suppose, is a big. I'm a big student of Soviet history, you know. Oh yeah, I really, really, I, it just totally captivates me, you know, and. Uh, Going into those places and seeing what was there before we could see over that wall, it was just mind blowing for me. Absolutely mind blowing, you know. It's incredible, and, and I mean, it, you, you kind of can't beat the historical element when you're touring around Europe. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. The world is a beautiful place as well as being an absolutely despicable place sometimes. 
I agree and I think that's with the touring thing especially in my experience it's been the times that you have completely not expected anything to be happening in so many ways and then one tiny little experience will happen that just refreshes your entire yeah. faith in humanity. Yeah, yeah sure, 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 definitely. It's really beautiful. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. There was a queue of people waiting yeah, to speak sure. to you, so I should let you go. No but it's been a genuine pleasure. Yeah, yeah, and no yeah thank Appreciate you. And we'll see you soon, you. I'm sure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.